Hubble has been in space for over 34 years, and its mission has been an incredible success. Although it wasn't originally designed to observe objects within our solar system, it has managed to do so throughout its journey, capturing extraordinary moments that would have otherwise gone unnoticed. Not every planet has a dedicated mission, and there's much more to see in our solar system beyond just the planets. The Hubble Space Telescope has been in operation for over 34 years, proving to be an invaluable tool for astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. Originally not designed to observe objects within our own solar system, Hubble has nevertheless managed to capture extraordinary moments that would otherwise have gone unnoticed, filling crucial gaps in our understanding of the planets, moons, asteroids, and distant celestial phenomena. Many worlds in our solar system lack dedicated missions, leaving vast areas unexplored. The Hubble Sharp Eye has allowed us to uncover remarkable details that continue to reshape our understanding of the universe. Beginning our cosmic journey close to home, we first consider our immediate neighbor, the Moon. Due to the Moon's large apparent size in the sky, Hubble cannot capture its entire surface in a single image. Other missions like NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter provide far better high-resolution images making it more practical for Hubble to focus on more distant or challenging targets. Yet even here, Hubble has played an innovative role. In 2012, during the transit of Venus across the Sun, scientists used the Moon as a massive mirror to detect subtle variations in sunlight that had passed through Venus's atmosphere. By analyzing these variations in the reflected light, researchers were able to study the chemical makeup of Venus's atmosphere in a way that mimicked exoplanet studies. Though Venus's atmosphere is already well understood, this clever test demonstrated the potential of using transits to analyze alien worlds, a technique Hubble now regularly applies to exoplanets by observing the light of distant stars as planets pass in front of them. Because the Sun itself is too bright for Hubble to observe directly in this way, using the Moon as a reflector allowed scientists to test and validate their methods for far more distant applications. Unlike the Moon, Mars has been a frequent and accessible target for Hubble's instruments, providing some of the best global views of the red planet from Earth's orbit. Unlike orbiting spacecraft that can only capture narrow swaths at a time, Hubble has imaged the entire disk of Mars, offering critical insights into its weather patterns, dust storms, and seasonal atmospheric changes. These observations have been essential for mission planning helping engineers and scientists anticipate conditions that could affect rover operations on the surface. One of the most striking sequences Hubble captured was a time-lapse of a massive global dust storm that completely engulfed Mars, obscuring its entire surface beneath a swirling ochre veil. In the background of these images, Mars' two tiny moons, Phobos and Deimos, can be seen zipping around their parent planet. Another time-lapse focused specifically on Phobos, the larger of the two, capturing its movement over just 22 minutes. A remarkable feat considering that Phobos orbits Mars in only 7.5 hours, making it the only moon in the solar system that orbits faster than its planet's rotation. Beyond Mars lies the asteroid belt, a vast and chaotic region filled with millions of rocky bodies. One particularly intriguing asteroid Hubble observed is 6,478 g often simply called GT, which despite being classified as an asteroid, exhibits a strange comet-like appearance with twin tails. Imaged in 2019, this object is believed to display such features due to the YURP effect, where uneven solar radiation acting on its irregular shape gradually accelerates its rotation. G is a relatively small body, just 3.5 kilometers wide, but it now completes a full spin every two hours pushing the limits of what an asteroid can structurally endure. This rapid rotation generates centrifugal forces strong enough to fling loose material into space, forming the distinctive twin tails. Scientists predict that over time, GALT may eventually disintegrate entirely. Many asteroids in the belt are not solid monolithic rocks, but fragile rubble piles held together only by weak gravity, making them vulnerable to even slight disturbances. Another dramatic example of the asteroid belt's dynamic nature is P-2010A2, which was initially mistaken for a comet due to its tail-like features. Upon closer examination, however, 
astronomers realized that its nucleus was surrounded by an unusual X-shaped filamentary structure, the clear signature of a collision between two asteroids. The intersecting streams of debris result from the impact's energy, with rubble being thrown out in four directions, some of it gently pulled back toward the center of mass by weak gravity, while other fragments escaped entirely into space. Such collisions, while spectacular, are rare given that most asteroids in the belt follow relatively stable, nearly circular orbits, keeping them at safe distances from one another. Still, if an asteroid's path is perturbed enough to stray from the safe zone, it can become prey to the immense gravitational influence of Jupiter. Often called the solar system's vacuum cleaner, Jupiter's massive gravity exerts a profound influence on its surroundings. It contains nearly 34% of all the mass in the solar system outside of the Sun, allowing it to sweep up or fling away nearby objects. A vivid example of this occurred in 1994 with comet Shoemaker-Levy 9. After being captured by Jupiter's gravity roughly two decades earlier, the comet was shredded by the planet's intense tidal forces into dozens of fragments. When these fragments eventually slammed into Jupiter at incredible speeds, about 60 kilometers per second, or over 210,000 kilometers per hour. They generated immense fireballs rising 3,000 kilometers above the cloud tops with temperatures soaring over 23,000 Kelvin. The most dramatic impact left a dark spot on Jupiter's surface the size of Earth itself, unleashing energy equivalent to 6 million megatons of TNT, more than 600 times the combined yield of all nuclear weapons on Earth. These spectacular impacts were the first direct observations of an extraterrestrial collision, lending strong support to the idea that Jupiter acts as a protective shield, diverting or absorbing dangerous objects that might otherwise threaten the inner planets. Beyond its gravitational prowess, Jupiter offers other wonders that Hubble has helped study, such as its breathtaking auroras. Unlike Earth, where auroras appear sporadically, Jupiter's are continuous and hundreds of times more intense. During the Juno spacecraft's approach in 2016, Hubble monitored Jupiter's auroras daily for several months, revealing that these displays are not driven solely by solar wind. Instead, they are also powered by Jupiter's fierce radiation belts and powerful alternating currents within its magnetic field, an auroral mechanism unique in the solar system. Among Jupiter's many moons, Europa stands out as one of the most tantalizing targets in the search for extraterrestrial life. This icy moon is believed to hide a vast salty ocean beneath its frozen crust, kept liquid by the intense tidal forces exerted by Jupiter's gravity. While spacecrafts, such as Galileo and Voyager provided excellent images of Europa's surface, Hubble contributed something unique. Its ultraviolet capabilities allowed it to detect what appeared to be water vapor plumes erupting from the surface, hinting strongly at an active subsurface ocean. Further, Hubble confirmed the presence of sodium chloride on Europa's surface, suggesting that the ocean below may be chemically similar to Earth's own seas, a detail with significant implications for habitability. Moving outward, Saturn is another giant that has captured astronomers' imaginations for centuries. Since the Cassini mission ended in 2017, Saturn has lacked a dedicated spacecraft, making Hubble our best tool for long-term monitoring of this majestic planet. Hubble's images track Saturn's ever-changing atmospheric weather patterns, including gigantic storms that stretch thousands of kilometers. Even farther out, Uranus and Neptune remain largely unexplored worlds since the brief Voyager 2 flybys in the 1980s. Hubble has filled this gap, capturing stunning images of seasonal changes in Uranus's atmosphere, and even discovering Neptune's smallest known moon, Hippocamp, a tiny celestial body that might otherwise have remained forever hidden in the darkness. These observations continue to refine our models of how the solar system formed and evolved, offering precious data on distant icy giants that might hold clues about the origins of planets both in our solar system and around other stars. Reflecting on these decades of work, it's clear that the Hubble Space Telescope has become far more than anyone expected at its launch. It has evolved from an ambitious observatory with a famously flawed mirror to one of humanity's most important scientific instruments, offering extraordinary insights into our solar system and far beyond. Its images have become cultural icons, 
inspiring generations to look up at the night sky with wonder and curiosity. With careful maintenance and planning, Hubble could continue to operate into the 2040s, potentially even outlasting its powerful successor, the James Webb Space Telescope. The legacy of Hubble reminds us that our journey of discovery is far from over. As long as we continue to look outward with imagination, ingenuity, and a thirst for knowledge, the universe will continue to reveal its secrets, one breathtaking image at a time. Hubble's long career is also a testament to human persistence and ingenuity in overcoming obstacles. When it was first launched in 1990, its famously misshapen primary mirror threatened to doom the entire mission to failure. The images it returned were blurry and unusable for precision science, prompting public embarrassment and fears of wasted billions. But rather than giving up, NASA engineers devised a bold plan to fix the problem in orbit. In 1993, astronauts aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavour installed corrective optics during a series of complex spacewalks, effectively giving Hubble glasses to correct its vision. That daring repair transformed Hubble from an expensive mistake into one of the greatest scientific instruments ever built, inaugurating a golden age of astronomy that continues to this day. Over five servicing missions spanning nearly two decades, astronauts upgraded Hubble's cameras, spectrographs, gyroscopes, and power systems, repeatedly extending its life and scientific reach. Each new generation of instruments made Hubble even more powerful, able to peer deeper into space and capture fainter, more distant objects with astonishing clarity. Its contributions to planetary science were only part of its vast legacy. Hubble fundamentally changed our understanding of the universe on cosmic scales. It was Hubble's observations that provided definitive evidence for the accelerating expansion of the universe, a discovery that led to the concept of dark energy and earned the 2011 Nobel Prize in Physics. It mapped out the life cycles of stars in exquisite detail, tracked the chaotic dynamics of merging galaxies, and revealed the crowded birthplaces of solar systems inside dusty nebulae. The Hubble Deep Field and its successors, which stared at apparently empty patches of sky for days on end, uncovered thousands of previously unseen galaxies stretching back over 13 billion years, giving humanity its most detailed glimpse yet of the early universe. Those iconic images transformed our sense of scale and time, showing that the cosmos is teeming with galaxies of astonishing variety, each containing hundreds of billions of stars and quite possibly countless planets. Closer to home, Hubble's ability to monitor planets in our own solar system has been crucial for missions planning to visit them. Its regular imaging of Mars has informed rover landings and seasonal weather predictions. For Jupiter and Saturn, Hubble has provided ongoing atmospheric monitoring long after dedicated spacecraft left orbit, ensuring that scientists retain a continuous record of these dynamic gas giants. Even as robotic explorers like Juno and Cassini have delivered up-close details, Hubble's broader perspective has offered essential context, enabling scientists to see how local events fit into planetary-scale patterns. Meanwhile, for icy moons like Europa, Hubble's detection of potential water plumes has sparked enormous interest in future exploration. NASA's upcoming Europa Clipper mission, for instance, aims to fly repeatedly past the moon, analyzing its surface and possible plumes for signs of habitability, inspired in part by Hubble's tantalizing evidence. Farther out, Uranus and Neptune remain enigmatic worlds where Hubble has helped fill in the blanks since Voyager 2's brief flybys in the 1980s. By capturing atmospheric changes and discovering moons like Hippocamp, Hubble has kept these distant giants in scientific focus, underscoring the need for future dedicated missions. In the years ahead, Hubble's role will gradually shift as new observatories come online. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, already operating in the infrared with unmatched sensitivity, is designed to see through cosmic dust, analyze exoplanet atmospheres, and peer even farther back in time. But JWST and Hubble are complementary rather than redundant. While JWST specializes in infrared wavelengths ideal for cold objects and distant galaxies, Hubble's visible and ultraviolet coverage remains unmatched, making it uniquely capable of studying star formation, planetary auroras, and other high-energy processes. Together, 
They offer a multi-wavelength approach that can unlock a far richer understanding of the universe than either could achieve alone. Moreover, planned future observatories like the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will conduct vast surveys of the sky, mapping dark energy and exoplanet populations with unprecedented precision. Ground-based giants such as the Extremely Large Telescope, YLT, and the Giant Magellan Telescope, GMT, will deliver unmatched resolution, enabling direct studies of exoplanet surfaces and atmospheres from Earth. In this evolving landscape, Hubble remains a trusted veteran observer, an irreplaceable benchmark for new discoveries, and a bridge linking decades of space science. Ultimately, Hubble's legacy is not just in its scientific output, though that alone would be enough to secure its place in history. It also stands as a symbol of international collaboration, engineering brilliance, and the enduring human desire to explore. Its images have inspired artists, educators, students, and dreamers across generations, reminding us that the universe is vast, mysterious, and beautiful beyond measure. As long as Hubble continues to orbit Earth, it will keep sending back those astonishing.